You know, I've just been, for the last, I don't know, year, year and a half especially, I've just been so fascinated with this reality of heaven. You know, if you read, you, it's so awesome. You can literally go in the Bible and read what it's like in heaven. You can read about what they're doing actually right now in heaven. And I've just been fascinated by this thing of God's worthiness and His holiness. I don't think we know what that means. <laughs> we throw that word around like worthy and holy, you know, all the time. I don't know if we understand the magnitude of these words. You know, it says the angels are gathered around. There's the elders there, they have crowns. There's living creatures inside of the throne room of heaven. And it says they're singing day and night. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Holy, holy, holy. And you know, I'm a, I'm a really evangelistic type of guy. I want to see the lost saved. I want to see miracles and stuff. You know, and I want to see, I want to see heaven on earth. But if we want to see heaven on earth, maybe we should look at what they're actually doing in heaven. When they're actually not really looking at themselves. They're not even looking at the world's issues. <laughs> it's almost offensive. I mean, the world's down here and we're going to shambles, it feels like, in certain moments. <laughs> and they're completely and helplessly distracted by something greater. And it provokes me. I'm like, how can they not stop? Can't they find a reason? Isn't there some kind of excuse? Don't they have a bad enough day where it's like, okay, I can take a break now and figure out my problems? You don't see it anywhere. Day and night, there's this constant song happening in heaven. And I'm just fascinated. Like, I want to tap into to the revelation that they have caught, the angels around the throne. They can't find a reason to stop since the foundations of the earth, since the very beginning. For thousands of years they've been there and they just can't stop singing holy, holy, holy and worthy. And the Lord asked me, you know, Joel, if you want to see heaven on earth, maybe try what heaven's doing. And that's why I believe God's raising up a worship movement on the earth. We're, Worship is going to fill the streets of California. It's going to fill the streets of America. Because why? We have caught a glimpse of what the angels are seeing in heaven. I love looking throughout. There's certain stories you can read. I mean, even the prophet Isaiah, if you go to the book of Isaiah, you can read about certain encounters he had. In Isaiah 6, there's this moment where the Lord allows him to see into heaven. And his next words are so profound. The grace of God falls on Isaiah and he actually gets a glimpse into the throne room. And what does he say? He says, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. He says the entire earth is full of his glory and it was in that moment God actually branded his heart purified his lips and his speech so that he could go and share about the Lord and I feel like tonight this is where it's got to happen in this moment of worship where we just lay aside the stuff all the stuff that's swirling around the distraction the crazy news articles that are coming out the, the crazy you know narratives that are trying to be spewed out, especially from California. I think tonight is a moment, we can actually lay that aside for a moment. We see it, we acknowledge it, but we need a better revelation. So I wanna sing this song, and you guys, it's literally just about the worthiness and holiness of the Lord. I feel His presence already as we're singing. I believe there's gonna be a moment of encounter, maybe you've never experienced the Lord before, ever in your life. Can we all just do this right now? Every high, every high, every hand raised. Let's just close our eyes for a moment. 
Just in your own words, just for 30 seconds, can you just tell Jesus, say, I'm open. Just begin to open your heart for 30 seconds in your own words. Just say, I'm open, Lord, my heart is open. If you're real, God, I want to experience you. I want to experience the fullness. I don't just want to settle for the 2%. God, I want 100%. I don't care what people have said. I don't care what leaders have said. God, if you're real, show it to me tonight. Let me see what the angels are seeing. Let me see why the elders over and over again cast their crowns in love before you. Come on, just for 10 more seconds, just tell him.